Aloha, my name is Asha Smith, aka Invest with Asha, and welcome to Investing in Hawaii. Me and my partner, Fuzzy Jardine, are here to teach you guys how you can start investing in real estate, build wealth, and achieve financial freedom right here in the islands. Today we have a special guest, Shireen, who has joined our Hui Mastermind and has learned a lot, but also has brought in a wealth of knowledge from previously investing. And so stay tuned to see her tips and tricks on what has worked for her over the years. Welcome, Shireen. Thanks so much for being here. Uh, tell us a little bit about who you are, how you grew up, and kind of what your background is in real estate. Well, I'm born and raised on the island of Maui. And being here on the island, growing up, um, basically being married, you know, for the first couple of years, me and my husband were like married for 10 years. And either when we were married, we're either we're living with family, family living with us. And then the economy just went down. And so we decided to move to Vegas because Vegas was booming. And my husband was in construction back then. And amazingly, within a year, we were in Vegas. We bought our first home. It was amazing. We went through, you know, all the paperwork, the docs and everything. So what was the cost of homes back then? 96000 for a um, two-story home. Brand spanking you. You could put in everything that you want to add into the home. So um, gas was only 69 cents <laughs> in, in Imagine Vegas. Imagine that. Right? I don't know. It's so shocking. So that was fun. Um, but basically, after a few years there in that home, we moved closer to the Strip because Las Vegas was booming. It was it was amazingly just how things were just popping up. And that was in there. Early 90s, late 90s. Yeah, early 90s, yeah. Late 80s, basically, 90s. And yeah, we had my two little boys. And the first year was kind of hard for me as being local, being grown up here. Um, culture shock. Um, but it did build me a backbone. And basically kind of got me into my real estate. You know, I was, I was never, I always wanted to get my license as a real estate. I tried it once. Didn't pass, <laughs> but um, yeah, butter. So uh, after moving back in town in closer to the strip area, we bought another home there. And again, it was uh, amazing. It was a, uh, it was more expensive again. So, but we came back home to Maui and we had to sell our home there to purchase a home here. And we're so blessed to have a home here now, but being in, you know, after for 12 years and um, not um, buying anything and being at my age, you know, I'm 58 and it's like, you know, retirement's come around the corner and I need to look at something that will establish to put me in more and coming to see that you saw and seeing yours and Fuzzy's hui on Facebook, <laughs> it brought me to coming to join your, your course and I was like, your mentorship. Yeah. Yeah. So it was an amazing time. Well, share a little bit about that. You know, you had previously purchased real estate and now moved home to Hawaii. You were thinking about investing, mm -hmm. you know, uh, had some experience, but then decided to join the Hui. I guess what is your feedback or what can you tell us about what maybe some of your fears too of joining? Yeah. At first, you know, at you know, I always wanted to get back into real estate, but I was like, you know, I don't have the money anymore. I mean, I have it in the house that I own now. But again, it's like, I, you know, these homes are so expensive. Then again, seeing your, the hui and knowing you guys' background about helping the local people and then the strategies that their strategies that I don't have to use my own money. I don't have to go to the banks and to do all it all, like my pay stubs and getting this and putting it all together, submitting it, submitting it to the bank and the bank telling you, oh, we need more of this. Give me this docs. And then after that, and it's like a whole three months you can go through before you even can establish to get the home. And it's so basically with your, your course being your mentorship under your mentorship, it was much easier and it opened up more to help 
me to move forward. I'm so looking forward of doing this every day. I'm just ecstatic of just like, oh, I can go to Hilo. Oh, I can go to Oahu. Oh, there's so much opportunities out there that, yeah. When I think that's that's the biggest thing for us is to show, especially the local community, that yeah. it is possible here in Hawaii because a lot of people are getting priced out of paradise or think that they're not able to get their own home. And we just want to show them that there is different ways that you can purchase home. It doesn't have to be through a realtor, it can be directly with the homeowner. And it's not easy, but it is simple concepts. And so the more you educate yourself, the more you get around people that are actually doing it. I think that then opens the door for you to Absolutely. be able to do it yourself. Correct. You know, you want to be around the people who's doing it, who has done it really, because they do, they know the ropes like you mm-hmm. and Fuzzy know all the ropes already. And with this hui, coming into this hui, you that first week being on Zoom, getting into knowing everybody who's who's interested in this because we all here because we want we want ways different ways to learn and you guys have brought that out for us to know like hey you guys don't you guys can get you guys get funding you, there's funding out there there's people construction people that we we can suggest for you we can we can help you just keep on you know, pushing forward. So that was a big eye opener for me. And on top of that, again, just knowing that you're going to be helping others too, not only yourself of getting yourself a home, but you're going to help someone who is in need, a family member, a neighbor who, who may be going to foreclosure. You can help them, literally help them in knowing what you, in this industry, in this investment industry that you are able to help. When I think the biggest thing is being able to give them options and other solutions to a problem where, you know, there's there was a time my family went through different foreclosures and things like that, you know, years ago because they thought, okay, well, I can't afford the mortgage. I'm just going to stop paying and or somebody's going through a divorce and, you know, there's trouble between two different Uh, people. And so they're like, you know what, I'm not going to pay. And then the bank takes away the house. So I think just providing people one with, Hey, here's a strategy that I know that has worked and maybe that can help you. But two, being able to possibly even save the home, you know, and Mm -hmm. help them on that route as well and connect them with people that they need. Say it's a a lender or somebody who can get creative or an investor who knows what to do or a realtor who doesn't mind, you know, um, reaching out to their own resources. There's a lot of people that want to help you, but, you know, at the end of the day, it has to be the best solution for you or it has to be a feasible one. If not, you know, working with someone who is experienced, but then also have has, you know, values and integrity in the way that they do things is super important. And for us, that's what we like to showcase is that, you know, it's not always about, hey, uh, we need to get this house at a low price or we just got to get this transaction done. It's more so, hey, are we the right solution for you? Here's all the options that you have. If we are, you can come back to us. But we like to be that connector and make sure that, hey, we want to make an impact on this community. So whether it be working with us or working with someone who we know will take care of you and have your best interest in mind is is an integral for us as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, being in, so being in the hui. You know, the first weeks on Zoom, you, you um, each week you brought in your own contacts, which was amazing. I mean, I have gone, I had gone to other masterminds and they don't really actually do that. And especially the last month, the last of the ending of the week where you and Fuzzy would actually come on in person to take us out. That was so like, extremely powerful for everybody to know and see actually what are you guys are doing, showing us how, taking us out to seeing a, a, a home that was up for sale and then helping us to do the numbers. How do, how, if we're gonna, if we're, if we're planning on keeping it, flipping it, wholesaling it, um, uh, keeping it for a, a rental. You showed us all the numbers, how and what, how to do it. And it was like, that was a great key of learning, of just 
being there, actually seeing a structure of a home and figuring out the numbers. Because that's what we found out a lot of people have issues with. Yes. It's like, okay, we we know this is a good deal, but then how do we run the numbers, right? And so physically taking people there. And then if you want to do a fixer upper, and then uh, when we went to the big island was when we showed you new build strategies. Correct. So maybe talk about that as yeah, well. Yeah, so the big island, when we went to the next day, it was amazing looking at Fuzzy's properties. It was just extraordinarily narrow, just seeing the, the foundation, how, how they structure it, and how many investors are buying around. So being there, just knowing that we as an investors, because we're investors now, we in this business, we can move forward and grow and help. And actually being there to uh, where you folks took us to HPM and dealing, just seeing um, the homes, and how and it was that was an extremely takeaway uh, moment because you that's when you realize like, wow, you can get a piece of land and these people come in and help you put the home, build that home and then turn around. And you can sell it, rent it out and you want to help the local people. And then there was a um, Section 8 guy. He was just so fun. He was just so grateful. All of them. HPM guy, I forget his name, um, and um, the Section 8 guy, they were just so grateful for having us there and having you folks there building. You know, they're so appreciative that people, because the people, the local people need homes. We, so we being there, if we can help, it's a win-win all the way around. It helps the workers, it helps the builders, it helps us, we help the local people to stay on the island. So it's a wonderful situation. Well, and I think the the thing about it too, is we want you guys to see that it is full circle. You can bring it all around and we give you all the, t the people that you need in order to purchase. So if you need a realtor, we introduce you to Jade. Jade if you yeah. need a lender, if you need uh, to order the building supplies or want to purchase um, homes in order to do the new builds, or if you need the contractor, you know, those are all integral things where, yes, if you're in a, in a general mentorship, you can learn about the who, but you don't exactly know who you're going to actually hire to do these things. And so we yes. make it very, you know, almost like a la carte or like, you know, it's just so all in a place. It's like, true. here you go. Here's everybody you need. And so that was really important to us, too, because a lot of people get caught up in making decisions or like not knowing who to trust or who to hire. And so, you know, between me and Fuzzy, it's 10 plus years of experience and also going through that going through all those people. We cut the learning curve and say, here you go. Here's our team. And so I think that for me, looking back at it now, I'm like, man, I wish that we want to give people what we wish we had when we first started. Right. And I think that's what everybody wants. They want to. So with this, we're having you folks here, knowing that you guys done all the work before you guys went through all everything and having everyone that you know who you can go to. And you guys offer that to us, too. Is it, that was amazing. Each so each weekend we had either the Lord, the lawyer, your lawyer, your um Jade, who's absolutely wonderful. Um, who else we had? We had uh, the wholesaler, and even when that time we had to do that on call, how to um, do a calling on to speak to a seller who is in need. That was amazing. And Fuzzy, who offered his uncle, I believe, to do door knocking. That's so. Being in here, in this Ohana now, it helps you to move forward. It, if you have a question, it's like you guys are there. Someone in the in Ohana will help you because they going through it right at that moment that they have gone through it. So it's like it's a wonderful situation to be in right now. Well, thank you. We feel blessed to have this community and have... Uh this open dialogue and have other people to lean on. And we're all going in the same, we're all paddling in the same direction. Correct. So all in the same canoe together. <laughs> yes. And we're here to definitely provide that support. So I guess for those people who may be a little bit hesitant to get into a mentorship or course, or maybe feel like, you know, they're kind of on the fence, I guess, what advice would you give to them? I do recommend it 110% because being with the Hui, again, the price doesn't, you know, you're going to get it back. 
It's all going to come back. Just realize, I know it's scary. It's a lot of money. You think it's like, oh my God, it's a lot. But when you go to, I've been paying for going to college. College, you're paying so much thousands of dollars to go to college. And then you don't use it. And then even going to any business, any opening up your own business. So this is a business. You're investing in yourself. You're investing into your family. And it's a one great way to get into it because real estate will not go down. It will go up. Your op this is an open door of things that you'll never know what you're going to get into because there's so much more than what it is. <laughs> there's townhomes, there's condos, there's uh, trailer houses, there's, um, little portable homes now, and you just need a piece of land. And there's opportunities. So with this hui, there's ways. Fuzzy's doing his portable homes now. You are you got your um, RVs. And it's so there's so much opportunities out there. So don't be afraid. Just come along. Because it's you don't even have to use your money. That's the thing. That's the most important thing people get scared of. It's like, oh my God, I need 20, I need 10%, 5% to, to put down on a home. I can't afford that. No, there's ways. There's ways. Yeah, and I think that's the important thing to figure out is everybody, you know, they don't know. They, the one way they know how to invest is, okay, I got to go through a realtor, then I got to put 20% down, and then I got to qualify and bring all this paperwork, like you mentioned before. But there's other strategies that we showcase to people yes. that people don't really think about or think to ask about. And you never know more recently too, in this economy with the high interest rates, I've been asking, you know, realtors like, Hey, can you ask the seller if they're open to financing the deal for me? Yeah. And before they'd be like, no, you know, the market's really hot and we cannot, but now they're like, okay, well, what is that? Right. So that may, may take you educating yourself so that you can educate other people and you never know if they may be open or want to invest with you. Mm -hmm. Then we also talked about private money. There's people out there with home equity lines of credit. There's people that have savings or maybe looking for other investments other than their retirement or stocks or Bitcoin or things they can't control. But with real estate being a physical asset, even if the house burns down, there's value in the land. And so that's one thing about Absolutely. these types of investments is that there's a physical asset that you can always come back to. And there still be, even if the house burns down, there still be insurance that could cover you or there'll be value in the land itself. So, yes, so very much important. opportunity. Very, very important. Mm -hmm. So basically, you know, that's the only way now it, I see it in this time that real estate is the only way, you know, other than that, you're going to work two, three years two, three jobs. You're going to be moving out of state. But here, being in the Hui, you're going to learn. You're going to learn how. And you're going to be in a, in a family. Just do it. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yes. Okay, one last thing. What book would you recommend for somebody who is starting out or looking for more reading material? There's so many out there right now. I've got so many books <laughs> right now. <laughs> but I do uh, recommend the Burr. Because it's a one-way strategy. It tells you about numbers, how to do your numbers, how to how to do the steps. So it's buy, re refine, um, buy, rehab, rent, uh, or and repeat. And then another one I I'm really liking is Limitless. It's really good. It's by Jim Kwa. Kwa. Don't know how to pronounce his name. K W I K. And Limitless. It's very good. I can't put that book down. Perfect. Yes. Well, thank you so much. If people want to reach out to you, where can they find you? I'm on Facebook under Shireen Heffley. Not Heffley, but Shireen Heffley. <laughs> I'm with the two little doggies. Yes. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for being on the show today. We were super excited to see where you go, how you progress, and glad to have you in the hui. Thank you. So glad to be here. <laughs>